Welcome to the CIA, and welcome to Camp Perry. From here on out, things are going to be a little different. It looks like someone's not too happy to be here, and I mean, honestly, same. It's your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Hold on. Three years? Three years. Well, who's ready to watch three years go by in about 11 minutes? I'm not sure if this is the next day and they gave Jody a haircut in the meantime, but uh, we're just gonna treat this like it's her first training exercise. Come on, Holmes, keep up! And it being her first exercise, Jody's a little clumsy still. And here's almost the explanation for that thing I keep alluding to, but I like that if you just stay here long enough, Jody freezes in midair. If you're still confused, don't be. Ooh, oh man, that, that looked painful. And don't worry if you weren't able to read all that text on screen. We'll get a proper explanation in just about a minute. Find your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. So in looking something up for this chapter, I found out that these monkey bars actually give a lot of people trouble, because there's a prompt at the end here that if you don't know what it's asking or if you don't have six axis, you kind of can't do. I haven't got all day. And some people just sort of get stuck there. And finally, it's an explanation for that mechanic that we've seen a few times before, but if you played normally, you'd only be seeing for the first time. You have to watch Jody's movements, and then when the screen slows down, guess which direction they want you to move the right stick. You're supposed to follow Jody's movements, but a block, a dodge, and an attack can be three different things, and if you're not sure what she's doing, it's kind of not easy to tell. But I will say, I mean, if you can figure out what the game wants, uh, it does kind of flow, just a little bit. Take cover. Aim, shoot, advance the next cover. Got it? Yeah, so what if I told you this game has gun combat and stealth mechanics? Come on, get out of there. Seems a little bit jarring of a tone shift here, but I mean... I mean, we're doing it. It is being done. Come on. Fire. Come on. Although I say it is totally in character for the American government to take a psychic child and make her into a killing machine, it's not really what I would have wanted from a game like this. Good. But I hope you're ready for the most important part. This is extreme test taking. Okay, so I haven't seen Sigma Notation in a long time, but I think that's complete gibberish. Jody. Also, that did not look like Jody. What the hell? Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. It's finally time for Aiden to act out. This has been a Jody chapter, but not anymore. Now it's all about Aiden just really wrecking stuff doing what he does best. Oops. 
really the objective here is to just mess shit up until they tell you to stop. Good. Let's keep going. So there are no more arrows from the game to help out which directions I'm supposed to be pressing it, so I'm gonna let you guess what the game is asking of me. Seemed a little easy, right? Well, it's not always going to be combat that we do that in, either. So let's take all that training and put it to the final test here. Well, not not the final final test, but the final training course test. Keep up. Oh no! Oh man, that never gets old. Move it, recruit. It's not a fucking Sunday stroll! Now here we go. This is more the mechanics I was expecting from a David Cage game. So you want to see the weirdest way a game has ever introduced a new mechanic? Oh, so hey, yeah, it turns out Aiden can just heal people. Yeah, kind of maybe should have introduced that earlier in her life. Oh well, it's only going to come up a few times. Also, is anyone getting the really weird impression that David Cage just made this game and this montage sequence to just watch Ellen Page do all of this stuff? Like, the origin of this game is weird enough, but this seems pretty explicit. But here it is, time for the final combat trial. Not bad. Well, that take sure was. You want to go again, Ryan? Now here is the final trial. We have to put not a whole lot of everything we learned even in this chapter together to get us to the end. Here we do use a combination of Aiden and stealth combat to take these people down. And the weird thing is, we aren't going to be using this a whole lot in the game. This is a lot of dedicated tutorials to something that we are going to use... Well, I won't say how many times, but it's not as many as you might think. So this final part here is actually pretty notorious because you have to know exactly what to do and where these soldiers are because if you mess up at any time, you start this whole trial all over again. 
And here's the really tricky part. You may have noticed there was only one soldier at the end guarding the flag. Well, turns out there's another one up here on this storage container, and if you don't take him out first, you get spotted, and then you have to start all over. Not bad, Jody. But if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. Now, some people have a little trouble telling, but that soldier has been possessed by Aiden. We just didn't see it happen. Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You can tell by the eyes, though. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Like well, hey, somebody's happy for us. Congratulations! Really 